Hey everybody, this is Richard, and I wanted to do a quick video highlighting a few trades that the Elite Trader had. So yesterday was a really good day for the for the for the Elite Trader, and what you'll see right here is that a couple days ago the S&P Geronimo ES algo bot we got a fill of around 4375.75. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward the video so that you can see kind of what happened the following day and, and show you one other trade that we had that was really good. So like I said, it was a really good day for the elite trader, but let's take a look at it. Okay, so once the S&P got into the trade on the Geronimo, and I'm going to fast forward the video is going a lot faster now, but once it got in, it ends up holding the rest of the day. And then now what we look at is the following day, the market opens and we had a gap up. And you can see the limit order there. It's, it's actually sitting at 43.84. And what we see is that it gets, it touches it pretty quickly and, and pushes through. And so we end up getting a fill. And so that was our first trade on the Geronimo ES and it was a winner. And the gain on that trade was about $400. So what happens next was a little bit of a surprise. It caught me off guard because what happened is we ended up buying another um, S&P contract and that was on the Emerald Long strategy. And I'll zoom in here so you can see it. But notice on the on the matrix, you can see that we, we got a fill of around 4383.75. And so um, and that that trade, you know, right now it's just sort of down twelve dollars, but it's just fluctuating up and down. And we'll see it kind of take off as the market rallies. Um, but like I said, this 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 strategy is traded in Elite Trader. The Emerald Long is also traded in um, a few of the other packages, including the Options Algos, Noble, and Paladin, and also Trader Plus. So here, though, I'll go ahead and fast forward it again so that we can see kind of what happens the rest of the day. Okay, so if we look at the bottom left chart, just again to kind of orient everyone, that's just the Geronimo ES. That's the trade that we just looked at where we bought on the 26th and got out on the 27th when the market gapped up. That was about a $400 gain. The top right chart shows the Emerald Long and I'll zoom in here so that you can see a little bit closer. But right now we're up about $1,200, maybe $1,300 as the market just uh, recently hit a new high right there. And what, in, in case you're wondering, the, the dotted lines on the top of that chart, those are not resistance lines. Uh, really what those are showing is they're almost more for debugs so that I know what state that the what the algorithm thinks that the market is in. And so that the top line represents a strong up. And as long as you see that top line moving and there's no forward slash, then that means that the algo thinks that we're still in a strong up. And if in and, and the same applies for the, the weak up, but um, so so if if the top one had stopped moving, but the the kind of second to the top one was still moving then that would mean that the algo thinks it's the market is in a weak up state or it's just sort of going to drift higher but in a weak fashion and then the the other two red dotted lines just represent the weak down and the strong down and if you watch these videos you, you see me talk about that every once in a while but so here though the market started hitting new highs again now this algorithm's up 1800 and so it, it really was a really good day. Now, at this point, um, there's a lot of people that were nervous, I know, because when, when you're up this much, it does feel like, you know, maybe we should just get out now. But this is where algo trading, you know, you really just have to let the algorithm run. And these are fully automated trading systems. So it's not really, um, you know, the, the clients don't decide when they get out. I mean, it's everybody gets out when the algorithm decides to get out. And in this case, it, it decides to keep holding because it thinks that we're still in a strong up kind of market condition. I think now is probably a good time to do the risk disclosure. So just remember that trading futures and options involve substantial risk of loss. It's not appropriate for all investors. Remember, I'm not a CTA. I'm what's called a third party developer. I offer the algorithms under a letter of direction. And so my clients trade the algos in their own accounts under letter of direction. Now, just as a quick reminder, the Elite Trader trades these five strategies. The Trader Plus trades the one on the bottom right, the one in the top right, and then the middle. Um, so, and that's the Emerald Short, and the Emerald Long, and the Day Trade Long V2. Um, now, as this video shows right now, the strategy's up around $1,800. And so just to give you an idea of, of what that is, that's per unit traded. And so on the, um, on the, the Trader Plus, it trades in $25,000 unit sizes. So that's an $1,800 gain on a $25,000 account is, is what that's like. Um, 
And then with the uh, elite trader, it trades on $35,000 unit sizes. And so you would take the 1800 plus the 400 that it made on the, the Momentum ES or the Geronimo ES algo. It gives you about 2200 and then that's per 35K traded. And so here we finally do see that the uh, Emerald Long Trade gets out and you see it automatically exit right here. And as this chart shows, the algorithm got it pretty much exactly right. I mean, it, sure, it would have been nice to have gotten out about 30 minutes earlier. But, you know, this is where the algo, you just let it run, or, you know, my clients do. And in this case, it delivered returns of about 6.7% on the uh, Trader Plus. So it was a great a great day for sure. Um, and again, if you look at the, uh, the Elite Trader that also trades the Momentum ES algo, that one was up um, a total of about $2,100, which is also about a 6% gain. And so both those strategies were, were very profitable. The, the Noble also was, Paladin was as well, because they also trade uh, the, um, the sim similar algorithms. And so remember, these are automated trading strategies. They're traded under a letter of direction. There's really no experience needed. And if you need more information, reach out to my company, give us a call or you can fill out one of the forms on the website again, and I'd be happy to, to show you a demo, answer any questions you have, go over pricing, and, um, and kind of assist you in determining if these are, are algos that you might wanna use. Remember, there's definitely risk in trading futures. Uh, it's not for everyone, so keep that in mind. Uh, but thank you again for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.